You made a cool keyboard. In this video, we will explain how we created the ultimate staggered keyboard we came up with and what this design philosophy was. This keyboard is a Raspberry Pi Pico with a keyboard attached. The Raspberry Pi is a microcomputer that runs on Python. This is working by Circuit Python on Raspberry Pi Pico and running it using KMK firmware. And this keyboard also runs on Python. So this gadget is aimed at people who are mainly playing around with the Raspberry Pi and want to use the keyboard functions and LEDs to code their own keyboard to their liking or create application shortcuts that they want to use to make their work more efficient. For example, you can launch a specific application with the press of a button. You can enter long sentences with the touch of a button. This keyboard is set up to input QWERTY by default. But if you prefer Dvorak, you can customize it to that layout. Or change the layout more freely as long as Python allows. As you can see in the video, if you rewrite the internal files, the changes will be reflected immediately. How to use Connect the keyboard Then the circuit P device will be recognized. You can edit code.py. However, you never ever change or delete other files. If you change or delete other file, this keyboard will not working. We also strongly recommend that you back up your code.py file before making any changes to it. For details, see the summary. Now, let's talk about the keyboard design. I put the control key in the center left and the backspace key above the enter key. The control key is used for cutting and pasting, saving, and is a key that is used extremely frequently when editing images or videos. Control key is usually placed in the bottom left corner, but unless you're an American comic book writer, it's probably a much higher priority than caps lock. In terms of innovation, the keys on the bottom right side have been completely eliminated. The control, page, and shift keys that exist around here. It's about destruction and creation. And from what I've researched, it seems that the percentage of people using this key is about 4%. It may not meet the needs of the 4% of people. But on the flip side, the bottom right only has a D-pad making it easier to access the d-pad by blind touch when we were making the keyboard we wanted it to be minimalist and convenient i asked riemu a designer and minimalist to make this area with great care it adjusted the position to within a millimeter tried about four different fonts and created samples of three different curve angles i realized that minimalism is a mental illness I think we've managed to come up with a really neat, minimalist and useful keyboard design. It doesn't meet the needs of users who use the bottom right key. But creating something new means choosing what's important and what's not. So it feels like we were particular about this. That's right. This is because we wanted to provide a new keyboard design. Not a keyboard that is similar to existing keyboards. I think it's a neat and good design. This part, too, is intentionally left with a gap. Apparently to make it easier to recognize the Alt key by touch alone. Apparently the reason the space bar is separated is because they didn't want to put in a stabilizer. You can also change the key map to use backspace or enter instead of space. Even without a stabilizer, the key pitch is 16 millimeters, so it won't shake. Even the enter key, which is the key most likely to shake, doesn't shake that much even without a stabilizer. Key pitch refers to the space between each key. For a typical mechanical keyboard, it is 19 mm. And for laptops such as MacBooks, it is about 17 mm. Since we were going to make it anyway, we decided to pay special attention to the key pitch. And we wanted to make it a mechanical keyboard with a 16mm key pitch. This is a high-end keyboard known as a mechanical keyboard. 
and there are no products with a 16mm key pitch. So we paid particular attention to this aspect when making it. The travel distance of each key is reduced. Reducing the risk of tendonitis. However, there are no key caps that are compatible with 16mm key pitch. Also made three types of key caps that are compatible with 16mm key pitch. By Riemu, knock it. We also made three new types of key caps. Since no key caps with 16mm key pitch exist, we designed and created them using acrylic resin. There are two colors, black and white. You really, really put a lot of thought into creating this wonderful keyboard. Such that. Well, this is where the real hell began. By Marissa. Currently, the most common way to build your own keyboard is to use a small board called a microcomputer. It's like a small card that you see on the screen. But this method has the disadvantage that the board ends up being thick. In order to make this board thinner, went from not knowing anything about electronics to embedding it into the board. Who? By Marissa. Knock it. How much did Marissa understand when it all started? Okay Marissa, tell me about Amu. Omu wa ningen no kotoba o hanas koto ga dekir tori san na no ze. Chinami ni kakabot te tobenai Omu ga kutso kawaii no ze. Om is Om, but it's not the same as Aum. Kakabot kutso kawaii no ze. So that's how it all started, without me knowing anything about electronics. I'm surprised Marissa managed to make it out of this state. Well... Knock it off. This is how Marissa mass produced a lot of high-end paperweights. Marissa said that after the third failure, the bean paste started to break. And after the fifth time Marissa couldn't feel anything. The fact that Marissa was finally able to complete, that Marissa is far too talented. I think so too. I don't think this project would have been successful without Marissa and Riemu. Even add an lead backlight like this. Marissa did it in one day. Ooze. Hot swappable. Amazing. The mechanical key switch that can be connected is Kyle Chalk V2. However, the key pitch is 16mm. So only key caps compatible with 16mm key pitch will fit. Riemu said that the key caps for the part of the keys you press with your thumbs are designed to be narrow so that your thumbs don't get caught. The keyboard cover is also designed with great care to create a palm rest and the ergonomic design reduces the risk of tendonitis. Finally, I'll play the PV I worked so hard on. The place where you can purchase this keyboard is listed in the description.